students all dolled up uh, for dinner and then prom. And tonight, Arlena Tillette has a story about someone in this crowd and the journey to understanding her identity. That looks really good. <laughs> prom. It's a magical night. For Nikki Johnson, this moment, standing in a beautiful gown, took 16 years to get to. I just smile because it's. I'm starting to look like how I've envisioned myself for years. It wasn't until Nikki was 15, a freshman at Lewis Central High School, and at the time known to everyone in her world as Nicholas, that she decided it was time to be herself. I was so scared. I didn't know how my family would take it. I didn't know how my friends would take it. I didn't know if I would be accepted anywhere, really. Accepted as a transgender woman, always smiling, you know, just a happy kid. In hindsight, parents Julie and Jim say there were plenty of what experts call possible indicators. As young as two and three years old, Nikki was drawn to dolls and playing dress up. In the beginning, I thought, you know, this is just a phase. Ultimately, if that was what he preferred, that was what he preferred. I mean, we all want our children to be happy. But Nikki says it wasn't a phase. The older she grew, the more confused she became about her identity. That's until she watched an episode of Caitlyn Jenner's show, the former Olympic star athlete turned transgender woman. I was just like, wow, like, this is me. Around the same time, Julie saw a late night documentary about trans youth. And I said, you know, are you transgender? And the tears came, and um, I mean, then I knew that, I mean, I had a name for it. It's been an emotional experience for Jim, who likens the process of letting Nicholas go to mourning a death. What he says... We get caught up in the exterior. When, when the reality is... You know, the interior, that doesn't change. You know, the interior is, that is your child. The parents decided this would be a family journey. They're in counseling, learning more about transgender issues. You know, I knew that this probably wasn't going to be an easy life for her. What has surprised the family most is how accepting their community has been thus far. At a recent school performance, Nikki performed one last time as a male and then debuted as a woman. Hi, my name is Nikki Johnson and I will be singing. Some Americans believe gender identity is a choice. Nikki's family says who would choose this life. Nikki says she's sure of this. I would regret not doing this. I would regret not waking up every day and being me. And it will be a lengthy and expensive process. Nikki does plan to have sexual reassignment surgery, which is a very expensive procedure. This journey has really just begun for Nikki and her family. We're very, very grateful that they've allowed us to document her journey, and we plan on sharing future stories as it progresses. John? All right. Thanks, Lena Tillet, reporting live. We have been in touch with the Lewis Central High School principal who says the school is also supporting Nikki through this journey and they have met with the Johnsons to make sure they stay informed about her process as well.